I've definitely seen worse action movies. Bloodshot, the latest comic book movie to come out uh, that actually isn't made by Marvel or DC. So this movie follows uh, Ray Garrison, a super soldier, a soldier who has been killed and resurrected through nanites. That's, to be fair, if you are a fan of the comic book character, you already know that going in. If you've seen the trailer, you're knowing that going in. Um, just to get this out of the way, Ver uh, Valiant is a comic company that I personally like. Uh, they describe themselves as the world outside your window, but slightly askew. Um, a lot of their works is very, very fun, and a lot of it, it like, I, I just enjoy a lot of it, so I highly recommend it if you haven't read their stuff before. I haven't read a ton about Bloodshot. Basically, all I know is that he's a superhero who has been resurrected, who can use the Nanites in his body to do things like heal a lot faster. Um, I think he can hack the internet with it, not positive on that one but he basically can do just a bunch of stuff with the nanites that are in his bloodstream so i don't know how comic accurate this film is um but i do know that i found this movie highly entertaining at least personally i think that all the actors in this movie did a fairly good job vin diesel i thought did a fairly decent job as um the character of ray if you don't like Vin Diesel as an actor, that's fine. I personally enjoy a lot of what I've seen him in. More as mindless type films as opposed to like, like, oh my god, this is the greatest piece of cinema I've ever seen. I, I enjoy a lot of his stuff as closer to mindless action films. I'm including pretty much all of the Fast and Furious franchise in that. Like, th they're more just mindless fun movies for me. They're not really, like... These super amazing groundbreaking pieces of work that I know some people have praised them as. They are wrong and I have gotten into arguments with them. That is not the point. I'm reviewing this movie. Hmm. Anyway, the supporting cast is really good. Uh, the main villain of the movie, who I'm not going to get into here because that would be a spoiler. But if you are a fan of movies, you're going to spot him pretty much instantly. As to who the main villain actually is in the movie. He's a lot of fun. Uh, he's a character, TK. She's um, she's a lot of fun. I cannot remember the name of who played her. Pretty much all the side characters are a lot of fun. Uh, I think standout goes to the um, hacker, uh, Wiggins. Yes, the hacker character, Wiggins. He is a lot of fun. He's highly entertaining. Um... He's just a great load of fun to just watch. It just be insane. Is absolutely hilarious. And I love every second that he's on screen. Overall, this feels more like just a generic action movie rather than something really special. I'm not saying that's bad. I've seen good generic action movies before, but I don't think this is gonna start a Valiant universe. Um. I don't know if that was the intention. I don't think it was. But if it was, I don't know that this is going to be able to kickstart it. It's a lot better than every movie that I've seen that they've tried to kickstart the Dark Universe with. Oh, too soon. I am not apologizing for that joke. I, as much as I love Dracula Untold, it is not a good movie. I'm the first to admit that. Um, same with... Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, <sighs> Mummy's just straight up bad. I haven't seen The Invisible Man, but if they're intending to start a universe off it, I, I have no real interest in seeing it. Hey, fuck it. For all I know, the movie's great. I just... Not a huge fan of horror, and the trailer didn't make it seem interesting to me. Why do I keep getting cut off track while I'm doing this one? But anyway, Bloodshot. The movie is generic and slightly predictable again if you just want mindless action that's fine the one problem that i have with it is that it multiple times kind of just fed you the plot there's one scene at the beginning there's one scene earlier on or er, i would call yeah the end of act one at the very end of act one it like slightly starts to piece something together and then it just feeds you the information of what's been happening which i think it would have been a lot more interesting if they hadn't just fed you the information i want to describe it i want to describe it so bad that would be spoiler
I want to describe it, but that would be a spoiler, and I don't want to get into those because I hate getting into spoilers in this type of, in this format. Honestly, I hated that f spoon feeding, but I also really like figuring out mystery plots and just in general that kind of stuff. I find it very entertaining and very enjoyable to do. Um, some might not, but I do, so I was disappointed to say the least. If you want to go see Bloodshot, I would say see it. I don't think it's anything to like write your, um, I don't think it's like the best thing on the planet, but I've definitely seen worse action movies. And it's very, like, it was a lot of fun while I, like, while I was watching it. I had just fun time passing for about two hours. All that in mind, movie for me rolls a 10. That would be about average for me. Not the greatest film I've ever seen. Definitely not the worst. Highly entertaining. A lot of fun. If you want a dumb, a mindless action movie, you're going to get a mindless action movie that... If... I'm probably going to come back to this every now and then just as a mindless action film just to watch it. My opinion may change on this over the course of time, but right now I'd rather enjoyed it and I think if you watch it you might as well, especially if you like me and you really like mindless action movies. That's all that I have for now guys. I hope you that you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you would like to uh, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, Instagram links to both those are going to be in the description down below. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and comment. Uh, that would just help me with the algorithm a little bit. Um, if you like the content that I put out and you would like to follow me, um, click the subscribe button. Just That's going to be the easiest way to keep up to date with the videos that I put out. Anyway, that's all for now, guys. I hope that you guys have a great day, and as always, peace out.